Look at this Covey family. All right, so it's like an hour until, a little over an hour until the game starts, but it's opening day. Uh, Sarah and I have been to Wrigley opening day. Have you ever been to an opening day game? Yeah. Went, probably before we're dating. Like, I would go a lot with my aunt and uncle and my cousin. My dad's a Sox fan. My family, like my big family are Cubs fans. So I would tag along with my aunt a lot. But we've gone numerous times to open, like Wrigley at opening day, go to the bars or yeah. restaurants because it's like such a fan fair. Yeah. To, like, but since moving to Florida, we haven't done that, and so it's exciting to be back. I see people in Wrigley. It's going to be a good day, and now it's we're a season. little chilly. Yeah, a little chilly, a little windy, uh, risk of rain, but this is typical does that stop us? Never. <laughs> During the starting lineup, James has discovered pigeons. <laughs> Where'd it go? Got the starting lineup coming up. Look at this. It's a good day to be at Wrigley Field. We are pleased to welcome the Ukrainian American Youth Association Choir of the Minkola Pabluska branch in Chicago to sing the Ukrainian national anthem. Day. Woo! Yay! 
Okay, so the boys are walking around. I mean, James is 17 months old. He is restless. And we just could have come a little bit more prepared. And so we're learning. Like, this is our first time having a child this age. Um, and so hopefully we'll be more prepared. Also, this is like his nap time. Um, so again, like day games, we're gonna, we might need to like, just have a different strategy. We're still having a good time, but we're just like switching off, running around with him, and then bringing him back here and snacking for a little. Um, but otherwise, good, the score is zero to zero, kind of an eventful game so far. All right, James is struggling a little bit, but we got a blanket. Hey, <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Some water. Bottom of the fourth. We might have to concede back to Gallagher way to watch the game. We bought the same blanket we bought last year. <laughs> but we're not going to put it in the dryer on yeah, high. The dryer, like, burned it. All right, so the game started at 120. We got here at, like, 12, 15, 12, 20. James is supposed to nap around one. He got up earlier than usual today. So he's roasted right now. He's doing pretty good, but he's just not feeling the seats right now. I think Sarah gave a little update of like, we're learning about what, how to manage a toddler <laughs> at a baseball game. But we might have to concede to Wrigley or to Gallagher way down there, which is the grass field where we were before. Um, that's like, you can only go in there right now if you have tickets. So I feel like a lot of the families are conceding to going down there. So we'll see. Oh, he's on the run. All right, we're out in Gallagher way. James is going in the middle of playing catch. <laughs> This way. So this is where we watch the movies. James is people are playing catch. But it's also good because then you can still watch the game here and burn some burn some energy. Or keep a baby awake, I should say. <laughs> There's Jamesy playing by the flower bed. Um, check it out, look at they're adding a fox drop right here. Right, right, right. Look at this. Gallagher Way. This is where we were watching uh, Casper a few months ago. I think they were doing a summer movie series. So there's a lot of time playing catch out here. But. Hey! <laughs> so we're allowed to, you're allowed to scan said, your ticket. He said, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> you're allowed to come out here if you scan your ticket and then scan back in on the way in. Because this is like. During non-games, anybody can come over here, but during games, you have to have a ticket. And you can still get concessions and stuff, and there's tables out here. It's kind of nice. This will be really nice when it's warmer, and it's not freezing. Oh. Yeah, we're kind of cheating, and we're in the cup store to get warm. Look what Sarah found. The Cubs and Mickey. We might have to get that. Yeah. Yeah, so good. We leave the field and the Cubs got a home run and another, I think another run was um, batted in. So they're winning three to one right now. <laughs> 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 oh. Okay. What is it? Top of the six? Where are you going? <laughs> Sarah's down. <laughs> All right, 3-1, bottom of the six. Some Ukrainian flags. We're calling it James's toast. So, we're out of here. 
We'll finish watching the game at home on MLB TV and get this baby down for a nap. Yeah, I'm pretty cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty toasty myself. We might grab some sword dust on the way home. Oh, we have to cross. Ooh. There's construction. Oh, no, I see a path. Oh, sick. We'll get the name of the restaurant on our way out. We pass this every time we go to the train, and we've never stopped to eat. So, so here we are. We got some nachos and tortas. Here is my El Pastor torta. Peter got carne asada. Looks good. We used to have a place like this. Yeah, our first apartment. No, our second apartment. We've had too many apartments. Second apartment. <laughs> that we'd go to all the time. I'm very excited. Is that bubbly? Got home. Took off my hat and my lipstick, so that's why I'm so disheveled. Picked up James. He literally fell asleep on the spot. This has never happened before in my life. Peter's out walking Eve. He is going to lose his mind when he sees this. Hey, took Eve for a walk, but she's just chilling on this porch. I can literally still hear the Cubs game going on. That's how close we are. It's like nice, but not this nice. Enough. If you didn't believe how toast James was, I come in from walking Eve. I just picked him up. I like snuggling. How good is it, We are celebrating the end of our opening day with deep dish pizza and jalapeno poppers wow jamesy napped for two and a half hours mom napped for one and a half hours <laughs> and now we're all in like this foggy groggy yeah. um so hopefully this pizza will make us feel better april 7th thursday bell hooks says it's in the act of having to do things that you don't want to don't want to that you learn something about moving past the self, past the ego. Hmm. It's in the act of having to do things that you don't want to that you learn something about moving past the self. Past, I guess I, when I read it the second time, it, it made more sense to me. I like it. I like it. All right, look at this crazy hair. Um, I really need to get into get a haircut this weekend, especially since I'll be in the office meeting with a bunch of people next week. Um, getting excited. Um, oh, where did that y'all come from? Um, we have a busy day. Tomorrow's Friday. Busy day at work. Busy day in our life. Sarah packed most of the way for Florida, so that's awesome. We have a busy weekend. You'll see some fun, special people this weekend in the vlog. And then, by the end of the weekend, we'll be in Disney World. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>